Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training. In today's video, we're gonna talk about mindset tips for fat loss. So, let's get started. So if you're watching this channel, you guys are most likely interested in my educational tutorials about weight loss, nutrition science, food science, all the different types of protocols out there. But today I'm gonna to get a little bit more personal and talk about how I was able to succeed in my fat loss journey and what it actually took for me to get there and the very, very practical tips of what it took. So right now, you guys, I'm at a place where I'm maintaining my physique. I am not in a caloric deficit right now. I'm very happy with my physique and I will talk about maintenance in other videos. But right now, I wanna talk about what it actually takes to lose body fat and get your mind in a place where you can really start taking strides towards your fat loss goals. I'm gonna be very honest with this and the first thing I have to say was a lot of my motivation actually came from a pissed off place. I would love to tell you guys, oh, you know what, I just wanted to improve my health, but no, there was a certain physique I wanted and I was getting so pissed off that I could not get there. And the thing that was holding me back was my nutrition. So if you guys look at these photos here, I used to be a marathon runner. I would convince myself that if I did enough cardio, I would be leaner. And it was all about dialing in my nutrition. And the hardest part for me about dialing in my nutrition was accepting a certain amount of social isolation. So what does that mean? Food is a very social thing, and there's parties, celebrations, dinners, dates, drinks with friends, all those types of things, and you are going to have to intentionally choose a kind of a social isolation when it comes to your nutrition on a regular basis. So what this means is you don't change how you're going to eat based off of what other people are going to eat. It doesn't matter that it's somebody's wedding. It doesn't matter that you're at the Eagles game. It doesn't matter that you're in Vegas. It doesn't matter wherever you are, you have goals and you have to stick to them. So that was a big breakthrough for me once I accepted social isolation. So what does that mean exactly? It means I stopped arguing with myself in my mind where it was like, oh, am I gonna stay on track? Am I not gonna stay on track? Am I gonna stay on track? Am I not gonna stay on track? It was no, you're staying on track, you're counting your macros, you're eating these foods, period. And I think that once I hit a point where I stopped arguing with myself and I fully committed to the process, I was able to just make so much more progress because I think a lot of you guys kind of put yourself in this weird gray zone in your mind where you're like, oh, you know, let me see how I feel today or oh, let's see what everyone else is ordering or oh, let me see what I'm feeling. You, you can't do that. If you have a goal, you gotta change your mindset where you're like, this is happening and you actually have to fully commit to your goal. And that's why it's really helpful to have a coach, to have a goal, like a fitness competition. Now I'm not saying everyone needs to do that or a vacation or a special event or something that is going to focus you enough to actually do what you need to do to make it happen. Next tip, after you get comfortable with the social isolation and the commitment is consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. It is not sexy, it's not fun. It is waking up, showing up every day, day after day, whether you feel like it or not. And this is a problem with a lot of people. A lot of people think that they're gonna magically wake up and feel motivated every day. Whenever I was in that weight loss, fat loss, mental zone where I had a very specific goal, a very specific time sensitive goal, honest to God, 50% of the time, I did not feel like eating what I prepped. I did not feel like going to the gym, but I went anyway. So you just gotta be consistent. You cannot expect to be hype on your goals every day, you're not, but you gotta do it anyway. It's, it has to just become this routine, automatic habit, which is why prepping your, your food, yes, it's gonna save you time and money, but there's no argument, this is what you're gonna eat. This is the workout you're gonna do. Having a meal plan, having a game plan, and being consistent. And you gotta stop feeling like 
you're gonna feel like doing it. You're not gonna feel like doing it. You're gonna have bad dates. You're gonna have your period. It's go you're gonna have traffic on the way to the gym. You're just you're gonna have every reason under the sun to not stick to what you want to do. But you got to do it anyway. So I think when you you got to get yourself in this mindset that this is happening. This isn't optional. Like just like you got to pay your bills every month. Just like you got to go to your job. Just like you have obligations. This has to become a priority and it has to be something that happens. It can't, you can't put it in that part of your brain where it's optional. The next mindset tip that you need to have if you're very serious about your weight loss and fat loss journey is you have to be patient with your results. You cannot get upset if you didn't lose a million pounds every week. You cannot get upset if you're not seeing huge changes. The maximum I expect my clients to see if you have about 25 pounds or less to lose is about half of an inch off of your waist per week. You are not going to be losing pounds and pounds and pounds every week and fat loss is not linear. So you have to keep your mind in this safe place where you have to celebrate every small victory and not get tripped up if the progress is slow on a given week. If you know that you're doing everything 110%, you gotta just be patient and trust the process and keep going. I know the temptation to get extremely frustrated and give up way too soon. I know it, I've been there a million times, but when you push through that and you get past that, that is where the real progress is going to come from, you guys. So you cannot allow yourself to get upset during those those early weeks where it feels like nothing's really happening just yet. Last but not least, the mindset tip to actually succeed with your fat loss and weight loss goals is to do this for you. If you are doing this for anybody else, if you're doing this to, I don't know, like a revenge body because you just broke up with someone, if you are doing this because you want your, your job wants you to compete in a competition because you're an ambassador with a, with a protein company, if you're doing this because you wanna fit into someone's bridesmaid's dress for their wedding. You, you, you have to do this because you want to do this for you. No outside form of pressure is going to propel you forward. So make sure you want this. You actually, actually want this. And if you do and you want this for you and you know that this is gonna make you happy, then by all means, Go for it, get your success, get your progress, get your results because the only thing stopping you is you. So if you need help in that journey, check us out, gagegirltraining.com. We can do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, build you a custom meal plan, and we can coach you through the process. Shoot me a DM on Instagram if you wanna chat more like instantly. Otherwise, go to gagegirltraining.com or call our customer service line 1-888-304-2843. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.